It's Plymouth Art Weekend of 2018 and I'm with Rosalie Wyatt in Stonehouse, Plymouth. And uh, what's your art all about? It's really what catches my eye. It's a response to things. I'm yes. more, more about um, the, what I see than um, technique or um, I do it because I enjoy it. Yeah. How long have you been an artist? Difficult to define. I mean, I was when I was a child and then I did something completely different. And um, really, I suppose about 12, 14 years. Yes. Been exhibiting that time anyway. Where have you been exhibiting? Well, I lived in Sheffield yes. and I exhibited with other artists in a group and in my house and various places. And I mean, moved here seven years ago. Oh. So I've been part of groups and I've exhibited in Ashtore. So what groups do you leave? In Devonport and... Right. Uh, is it quite a big art circle around here then, in Devonport? Um, um, well, in, in Stonehouse. Stonehouse and yes, I mean, there are quite a lot of people operating. Do, yeah. they, do they work together? Do they have meetings? Not as such, no, but we're part of networks that, um, you know, do operate, like the Drawn to the Valley thing. Yes. Um, that was, Drawn to the Tamar Valley is yes, the it's, slogan on the outside of the house. Yes, and it's it's primarily, you know, people's studios in their homes, but it's become more group shows and things and using public venues. Yeah. But I don't like to get up too early in the morning and go somewhere else. I'd rather <laughs> do it else. <laughs> so what inspires your art? Oh, well, yeah, uh, rocks largely, um, yeah. um, all kinds of things. I mean, what I see places I go to, um, colour is very important, um, response to music I'm listening to. What sort of music? Um, a lot of jazz, different things, Penguin Cafe. Yeah. You know, I have an idea about morning music and afternoon music, and yeah. I generally paint in the afternoon. So, so you're, you're part of Plymouth Arts Weekender, have you? Yes, have yes. Have you had many visitors? Oh, uh, you're quite a few, but yeah. not, 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 not massively, I mean, uh, quite a few. Yeah, well, you don't need a lot, really, do you? No, <laughs> no, it's, it's, that's right. You don't want people falling over each other on the stairs. That's for a preview, but you want people to come and look, so, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to quickly show me around? Yeah. Work, if that's all right. Yeah. So what's this piece of? Um, this is um, from a ledge in um, Morwenstow looking south. Yes. And sort of rock formations. Oh. And I work from a sketch. I didn't work from a photograph at all. I was working from a sketch I did on the ledge. Yeah. Um, Why don't, don't you work from photos? Well, I used to, and I do it sometimes, but... Um, yeah. It is, is it much more, I suppose it's more it's like expression, it's a bit grandiose, but it's more about how I see things than about what, what it is. Yeah. And that's granite formations in, in British on Coast. Uh-huh. So you do um, a bit of travelling then? Yeah, I like, I like travelling, but um, not a lot now. Yes. <laughs> but Britain is easy from here. I like the North British on Coast how because of the you, rocks. How did you learn your art technique? Various people. I mean, I got a good O-level in it, then I did chemistry and philosophy for a degree, and yeah. so that didn't help. And uh, I've been in parts of workshops and, you know, people. I was in a, in a group with an artist called Kristen Bagley in Sheffield, yes. who just sort of semi-abstract, very textured work. Uh-huh. that got bigger and bigger and bigger. Yes. Um, and he encouraged us to use, you know, kind of very loose techniques and... Uh-huh. Again, he was influenced by modern Spanish people um, who were very intuitive work, not, again, not objective, not seeing something and recording it. Yeah. So most of my stuff isn't kind of a record. That's also done from a sketch in January at Finnegook. Uh-huh. So it was a quick sketch because the weather was cold. Yes. <laughs> um, it is, especially when you're standing still. Yeah. Really. Well, I, I said poetry, I have my back against a, a wall or something. Yes. Um, but, yeah, but I like, I like winter, so it's yeah. easier to get around and not have too many people. And yeah. Uh, so how big is this uh, exhibition? Is it going this goes upstairs. upstairs. Yeah. yeah. On there. Nice to have all your art on the house all the time. Yeah, yeah, well, it's not all the time. I buy other people's work, too. I see, yeah. So we have other people's work. See you soon. See you. I mean, this is why I do stuff, and this is more work. But yeah, your studio, your little studio. Yeah. 
This is a very sort of small domestic space, and yeah. I have to try and remember where the hell I've put things in it. But I wouldn't like to lost the flash unit this morning. But I wouldn't like to have to get up early and go somewhere else to do it. Yes. You know, I prefer to do it. There's my lots own way. of little hidden gems in stone house yeah. studios like this. Yeah, there are lots of artists around. And you go into yeah. the other room as well, does it? This one, yeah. A total surround. So what sort of material do you use for your art? Um, well, you know, the sketches are mainly ink or ink and car and ash, and then I use acrylics. Yeah. I've been trying to use gouache more, but I'm in problems with it. I, I, about the drying and not being able to kind of go safely back into something. And, um, you know, so there's kind of blurred effect. And, um, you know, it's okay for colouring something in, but that's not really what I do. Yeah. And where do you sell your art? Well, not a lot. I mean, things like this. Um, and sold in the Ashtore exhibition recently. Uh, sold in the Ocean Studios of the Plymouth Art Club recently. Yeah. You're a part of Ocean Studios? No, but you can you can book it. Yes. So, I mean, people can book it. Do you, uh, do you have a website or...? No. You don't sell online then? No. No, I get I get where the email requests for things, but actually I can't be bothered to go and queue up in a post office or, you know, anything yeah, like that. Yeah, it's very time consuming. Yeah. yeah. So, the energy in lots exactly. of Exactly. So and everything's um, relying on that totally now. Yeah, I know. But I'm not, you see, for me, I've had other careers and I'm enjoying doing it. Yeah. So it's not that I've absolutely got to kind of earn from it, but I like to have enough money it's to the framing. Money. and. Yes. Um, but, you know, I do sell, I've sold quite a bit in the past. Yeah. And, uh so, um, but in a way, we're sort of winding down now. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, smashing. But you know, it is. It's um. And I'm also, I mean, quite concerned about the environment and what's happening to things. So I've got this kind it's of good game that, that you know. A lot of people are getting on board with that now. It's about yeah, time too. But it's, it is about it, time. It's almost too late because yeah. when it gets past an irreversible line, that's it. Because yeah. even this week, uh, I've just come from the Barbican and 17 of the swans have had to be taken out of the water and go for treatment because they might have lead poisoning. Yeah, well, there's, there's all sorts of things of plutonium as well, isn't yeah, there? So all, in, yeah, and, uh, you know, I've always thought that they can't be very healthy if they're living in this in southern harbour. No, but also not in the sort of <laughs> in this, the same hour. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. that's why I won't swim in the, uh, in, yeah. in the sound because you, yeah. you've also got very... But they want to make it well. into, um, you know, a national park a marine park yeah and i i wrote to luke Pollard and i said look how are you going to achieve this if you've got nuclear submarines and freight commercial oh, freight coming money, through too much money thanks to rosalie wyatt you should be able to get her details from plymouth art weekender on facebook don't forget to facebook plymouth art weekender 2018 chris summerfield video 2018 you can contact me at ccs photo 12 at hotmail.com and if you can help to sponsor my videos, you can PayPal me at ccsphoto1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video. It's free.